We begin with a Saturday night basketball event that has added meaning this evening. Providence's Hoops Over Violence recognizes student athletes who chose education over life on the streets. This comes just days after the killing of former Mount Pleasant High School basketball player Kip Stewart. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian joins us live now from the Providence Mobile Newsroom with the details. Kim. Jared, a week after the capital city's third homicide of the year, Providence's youth are coming together for a game of basketball and to spread the message of nonviolence. We were there today. More than 100 people were in attendance at the New Deconnicut Rec Center for a friendly scrimmage, some classes, and more events. They said they were all grateful to be there together, doing something that was fun and positive, keeping youth and others off the streets and spreading the message of nonviolence. On its surface, a heated three-point contest. But the games inside the new Deconnicut Rec Center Saturday were much more. And there's a lot of negativity that goes on with the killings and violence and drugs and all that stuff. But this is something where we can have a lot of like positive role models in the community come together. It's called Hoops Over Violence, and its founder, Corey Wright Jr., says he wanted it to be a safe alternative to the sometimes dangerous summer streets. Maybe it saved someone's life. You know, maybe it didn't. But for this four hours, I just wanted everyone to come in and enjoy you know, just an event, just anything now to keep them off the streets. The event comes just a week after former Mount Pleasant basketball player Kip Stewart was shot and killed while sitting on a Hartford Avenue porch. Police say he was likely not the intended target. No one has been arrested. Wright and others tell us he was a well-loved member of the basketball community. Hopefully he is looking down on us and, you know, he's happy about what's going on. <laughs> Players like Keelan Ives, who've lost friends and family to gun violence, playing on the courts has become a welcome alternative to trouble on the streets. When you got family members dying and stuff, and then it's like in the city, it's, it's, it's crazy right now. But that's why we're here. We're trying to spread positive vibes, positive light, bring people together. And today was the first ever Hoops Over Violence event, but Wright tells us he hopes to have many more in the years to come. Reporting live in Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.